This is Dear Shumish Tabura, Simin Chav Ches. We're going to be learning the entirety of the Simin today, Emir Tashem. And all the learning has been generously sponsored as an incredible Schos for Hashlema, for Chadvalei Abbas, Aradina, Emir Tashem, the learning of the entire Chabura, Allah after Allah, should bring Chadvalei Abbas, Aradina, a complete and quick Rafua Shalema, Bekar Raiv. And we begin Simin Chav Ches, always as with the title written by Rav Yisif Kairai, the Machaber himself, Dine Chalitza Satsfilin. We're going to learn today how to Take off your tefillin. Says the Machaber Chayiv on the Lamashish B'Tefillin B'Chol Shah. You have to be dealing with the tefillin at every moment. Shalay Yisiach Taito Mi'am. You never want to forget that you're wearing your tefillin. Via Mashmeish B'Shal Yad, and you should touch and feel the Shal Yad Tchila first. Ukshayimer Kshartim Yosa Yadecha. When you say the pasuk in the Kriya Shema, Kshartim Yosa Yadecha. You Mashmeish B'Shal Yad. You touch the Shal Yad. Ukshayimer Vayel Tatz B'Vin Yadecha. You Mashmeish B'Shal Rosh. You touch the Shal Rosh. Of course, everyone's wondering, where's the kissing part coming in? Let's wait a moment. Says of the Mishnah Bura, Sivkot and Aleph, Bechol Shah, Pirush, Bechol Shah, Shinitzker, Bem Chayev, Lemashvish. Whenever you th- remember the Tfilin, you should be touching them. Tal Yedei, Kein, Kuzviya, Dehat, Nizker, Aleim, Tadir, you'll remember them constantly, Vilevel, Ladei, Eschadas, and you will not forget that you're wearing the Tfilin. Ba'id, Kedei, Latak, Nishay, Zadim, Mekayma. And furthermore, so that they don't move from their place. What's the reason? Said the Machaber and Mishmur explains if Kotam Beish Lo Yisiach Medaito, you don't forget about them. Uke Eisat Filo Yisarch Lemash Hashem. While you're davening, you don't have to be touching them because, as we've seen already from the Shalom and others, that during your davening, you're automatically cognizant that you're wearing your tefillin. Beishal Yad, Zashal Yad Simuchal Lo Lemash Hashem. That's the closest one to feel. Vein Ma'avir and Alam Mitzvahs. Tchila. Va'achar Kach says Mishmur Yisav Kotam Nalid Beishal Rosh. You first touch the Shal Yad and then the Shal Rosh. You go to feel your shell rush, like, oh, whoops, <laughs> it's in the wrong place. And you also realize the shell yad is in the wrong place. First, put the shell yad back. Why? As we've seen, first comes the hand and then comes the head filling. Says the dear shoe over here, number one, the question that we're all wonder, wondering about. About. What about the minog to kiss the tefillin after your mimashvish after you touch the shalyan the shalroish? So our chashalchay comes along and he says you should kiss the shalyan after you touch it. And he says veino yeker chayadam kiss the shalchan arach. They say no, you should kiss your hand. Nashik is a yad when you touch your tefillin. Shara Ephraim, one of the foremost. Uh, um, um, Sfarim on Hilchus Tfila, uh, Tzikris Atayr, etc. explains that via the touching, but Tfilin, it says if Kilu Nidvak Liyad Roishem Kel Kedusha, you're getting the bit of Kedusha from the Tfilin, it like rubs off almost. Rosh Hashem Zaman Arbach was Noyeg Litin is a Ratzuos Oya Talis Ala Tfilin Vaisa Noyem and Ashik. He wouldn't touch the Tfilin with his hand. He didn't take his Talis or the Ratzuah and then kiss that. And as you see that similar practices when kissing the Sefer Taira, some touch, some use the Tzitzis, etc. So regarding kissing your tits, we'll see. Oh, we already saw that in Simon Chav Dalid. Um, let's continue. It says Dear Shabir, here something interesting regarding touching the mezuzah when you say Yisabtem on mezuzah beisecha. So the beisayev taught us already. Which in the shields, the shells that you was revashed, you do not need to touch the mezuzah. Why? Because only something that you're wearing and right in front of you. Every time you say Krishna, you don't have to dive for a mezuzah, but not something that's on the wall. And furthermore, that by the tit it says Reisa my say, so they'll come to remembering and so too by tefillin, as we've seen that there's more of a reason you need kavana by tefillin and tittis because of the emphasis in the psukim on remembering them. So too, the Rashbash says, another reason that we say that our chayv is agof, but mezuzah, as we, many people know, is a chayv on the bias, it's not a chayv on the gof. Um, let's continue over here, that um, number three, Dershu points out, of all your davening, nisrash lulat tefillin, and they're not tight, or chashulchat says, you're able to tighten them, it's not considered a hefsik to tighten your tefillin. <laughs> Similarly, Dershu number four points out if you're in your tefillin while you're learning Taira, you as well don't have to be touching them because it's as if it is on your das. Let's continue with Sif base. Says the Machaber Sif base. Tefillin shall rush, chaylet schila. You first take off your tefillin shall rush. Why? Mishab dech says, Vayilat tazvaz vene necha, calls match vene necha, yesh ta'im. Should always be too. So, lachla is tefillin shall rush. You always first take off the tefillin shall rush. Mu'ubat standing. Vene echba tik, you put it in the bag shall rush. Vayilat 
alav shel yad. He put it on the top of it. The shel yad. Kedesh yavel anicham yifka shel yad tachila. So that when you come to touch it, the shel yad is first. And we'll see some pictures about this in a moment. Let's just see some gimel together. Minak chachamim lenashigatul mishas and chasim eish rasach lisalso. When you put the money, take them off. The minak chachamim. An interesting uh, wording over here, quoting the avud raham that the minak of the chachamim is to kiss them. What a simple way we could all become chachamim by kissing your tefillin daily when you put it on and take it off. Says Mishabur over here in Sefkot and hey, when you take up your tefillin, you take up your shalroish first. Achar shemiser gimel krichos meats. But after you take off the three, first you take the three off your finger, then you remove your shalroish, and you're supposed to do a mumad standing. Who adin asaros like krichos shaletzba? Similarly, taking the the, the the wrappings of your finger should be done standing. Ule min agein who shemenichad shal yad gamkin mumad. We Ashkenazim says Mishabur. We also put on our tefillin standing up. So too, so Gamkin lechal tzamu. Maria, take them off standing. Excuse me. Dechahana chasan nikachalitzasan. Putting it on is taking it off. And many Svartim do this. Excuse me, this is not Svartim. Incorrect. Says the Mishnah Brewer, there are many Chacham that take on the Tvilin Shal Rosh with their left hand. She be had care the weaker hand. Why? You don't want to take it off. So you want to take off, use your strong hand. You don't want to take it off, use your weak hand. If you're left, use your right hand. Because you don't want to take it off quickly, so you take off your Tvilin. With your weaker hand. So he said, you put your shell rush in the tick in the bag, then you put the shell yad on top of it. She has a tick aruch, she has a long bag, vitzar and narrow. She munoch of zel gabzes, you could have the shell rush in the back and the shell yad in the front. Says the Magan of Ram, no. Put them side by side, and that is the most prevalent minog. What did the machaber mean when he says on top of it to put the shalyad? Continues Mishabur on the second column. Be rusha shein the ksas litzan ma'ila. The tefillin shalyad should be a little higher up. You hit them first. Says no, they should be side by side. Gan kein mitam zeh. So that you're going to, excuse me, she had fill in shal yad, but said yimin shal tik. Excuse me. The shulchan shleim is pointing out something else. That what side of the bag do you put it in? Says the shulchan shleim, the shal yad should be on the right side, so that you hit it first. And of course, this is going to have to do with which way your zipper goes, if you have a zipper, which most people have nowadays. V'yishnagin la se shnei kisim, some have two bags, echel le shal yad, vechel le shal roish. Ach, gam b'shnei kisim, yusit tev shnei zarli tin kishal yad, ikzas lam tzad mail. Even when you have two, you want the shal yad to hit first. Not to pass over a mitzvah. As we, we can expect, as, as we discussed extensively, the tassels, even in the bag, it's shaykh laver ala mitzvah. If you make a bag separate for each villain, you should write which is for the Shal Rosh and which is for the Shal Yad. Why? You have to be careful. You don't take out the wrong one. Also, the game of the Shal Rosh is more important rule we're about to see. The Shal Rosh is more Kedusha. Therefore, what? Thing. You don't want to switch the bags because this bag was zeichel to the shal roish. It got more kedusha. You don't want to switch up the bags. Lead them by shal yad. Alim kain istan tchil. Let's you make it tonight. Klamun sim men base. And of course, we many of us who have the tefillin boxes, we have similarly to label the box with the shal yad and the shal roish. Also, other reasons that they don't fit in the other boxes, but you never want to switch it around. Because it's more kedusha to the shal roish of the shal yad. Tchila says Mishmuras have got the chas v'lo yizar glaver la mitzvah v'nochayin li yizar shal yachle shal yad ad sheinir shal roish b'teich atik. We've already seen this that you don't take off the shal yad until your shal roish is in the bag. We saw this on Rosh Rosh Chaydash when you take your tefillin between Ashi after Valtzi and before Mosaf. Even though you're just taking them both off, make sure the tefillin shal roish is put away first. It should not both be sitting out. Kedesh li yishach v'nir shal yad tchila b'teich atik. You don't by mistake put the shal yad. 
in the bag first. Says Mishmuros have got the test Mishas Chalitzasim. When you take them off, this is going on Tzif Gimel that said the Minach Chacham is to kiss your tefillin, both when you put it on and when you take it off. Kshemayakvil at tefillin la yichur charutuz al abatim. Says Mishdabro when you wind up the tefillin you snap the charutuz on the bottom. Ella b'tzdade abatim alati toira on the base and the sides, not over the bias itself. This is something that people do uh, make a mistake, they don't realize it's a real halacha, and they just, you know, wrap the tefillin very messily, and it goes over the bias. It's not the right thing. There's some that wrap their tefillin like a kanfeyayna. When you wrap it on the side, hold the tefillin in your hand. And to wrap the ritzua. This is another thing you see people make a mistake. Don't wrap, don't turn the tefillin the tefillin has more kedusha, so you don't hold the ritzuyis and turn the tefillin. You hold the tefillin and you turn the ritzuyis. When you take out the tefillin, don't shake them. Take them out gently. Take a tefillin. You can't like the coverings of svarim. So let's first, before we see dirsho over here, let's see some pictures over here. You see, excuse me. Let's go to the beginning over here. Uh, yeah, here we are. Here you see note number one, showing a picture number one, excuse me, showing you very simply that you touch your Tzolot Shalyad, you touch your Tzolot Shalraish, but during Kriya Shema. This was the Minog that the Bishwur quoted from the Bach, that you have a long Tzolot and you have one on top of the other, and there are those who still have those screwed up Tzolot caps, uh, capsules, like the Bach and like the Taz, but as we saw, the Bishwur taught us that our Minog is like the Magen Avram, and the Mishabruna taught us, V'chein noya again, that you put the Shalyad next to the Shell Roish. Here is a depiction if someone has two different bags, one for the Shalyad and one for the Shel Roish. I've never seen such. I wonder if it exists nowadays. And the Mishabruna pointed out that you should even have the Shalyad bag on top of the Shel Roish bag. Here you see in this picture, that even when that you should write on it shall rush it shall yad so you don't confuse the two boxes and the two bags and here it's showing you you don't want to put the shall yad into the shall rush box why because there's more kedusha on the shall rush and here it is showing us that when you write the ritzvah and you see this unfortunately commonly you wrap up the ritzuahs what do you do you wrap them on the First of all, you don't wrap it on top of the bias. This picture Olive shows, you'll just wrap it on messily. And number two, you wrap it on this side of the batim. And there are those who make this kanfeyayna, which is that it looks like uh, wings of the dove, that they put the two parts out and then they wrap the other part in the middle. And they are showing you that you could put, you know, that it's like the covering of a safer taira. For one moment, before we call it a day, let's just look over here in Dirshu note number and there is no number. Um, I know there are so many dear shoes over here. Let's see what we could do quickly. Um Let's see, note number seven, the Dirshu points out with regards to this concept of Eimah Avir and Alamitzvahs, that if someone has the Tzvon Shalrish closer to them, or some of Zaman Arbach writes, that even though Meker Adin, that what you do, you should first touch the Shalrish, because in Avir and Alamitzvahs, but still, if you're davening with the Tzibur, don't do that. Why not? Because we don't want people to think that that's what you normally do. And therefore, what should you do? You should touch the shalyad always first. Similarly, and you should touch the shalroish and afterwards you should do it in order, first touching the shalyad and then touching the shalroish. And we're going to have to leave the rest of these uh, dear shoes of Mirza Hashem. Everyone will have to see on their own Mirza Hashem.